Hey YouTube, this is your girl Silent here. Um, I'm here dropping off to say um, two things. Okay, one is that I survived the East Coast earthquake. <laughs> Thank you Jesus that I did. Okay, I'll get into that a little later. But first, I want to apologize for something, I guess again. I'm saying a lot of apologies lately, huh? But this one I really, I really, really want to um say though because um in my last um video the weight loss stuff I said the f word um and uh, I was hoping that when like when I said it that it wouldn't offend people and I none of my subscribers y'all said anything y'all didn't say anything about it like y'all probably skipped through it or just you know you didn't see that part but you know I said fat by the way fat and um um, at the time, like when I said it, it, I was just like, oh, maybe I should retape this because some people might get offended. And But then, you know, my computer is always screwing up. So I was like, I'll just keep it, you know. But y'all didn't say anything. But one of my friends, she did like call me out on it yesterday because I made a joke and stuff. When the whole earthquake thing happened, like I made some kind of joke and um, I said, you know, fat. And it was it was regarding me and stuff. And um. She was, she just said, you know, like she knew I was joking, but she'd rather for me to say voluptuous and all that kind of stuff. And, um, <clears throat> so, and she wasn't like mean or anything about it. It was just, it's just how, you know, she just, how she felt about it. So I did want to apologize to any of my subscribers, like or viewers, you know, if y'all saw it and you got kind of offended, I wasn't trying to offend anyone and I wasn't, it wasn't, um. It wasn't towards anyone either. It was it was me, you know. It was no way am I calling anyone else fat. I was just talking about me and what I was going through. And when I tend to talk like real, like real, real, and I'm talking about my feelings about things, I can be blunt and stuff and just, you know, not really think about how people might feel about something. So, and when I think about it, like I wouldn't want anyone like skinny and stuff like calling people fat, you know. So... You shouldn't use words that you really don't want other people to say, right? So I said I'll just, you know, I apologize for it and work on not saying that and everything. And I'm, I don't want to take away from like, you know, the acceptance of big people, you know, because I'm big too, and I don't want to make it harder for us. So that's how I felt about that. All right, so I'm through with that. Now, the earthquake. <laughs> All right, for all my peeps that's on the West Coast, don't make fun of me <laughs> because y'all get it all the time. We don't get this stuff all the time. So let me tell y'all real quick any, if any of y'all interested in, in, you know, hearing the story. All right, so I was home yesterday when it happened, and I've been, like, really sick, like, stomach sick. So I'm, like, sitting on the couch back there. I can't show y'all all of it because it's a mess. I'm cleaning up and stuff. But I was sitting back there on the couch, and, um... I was trying to make myself eat because I just couldn't eat and stuff. I was just feeling like nauseous, feverish, and all that stuff. And I couldn't, like, make myself eat. And then I had Facebook open next to me. And my friend on Facebook was talking about how she's, like, in the airport and there's some kind of, like, bomb threat or something going on. And I'm reading that as, you know, well, first, the window, it was like a wind hit the window, right? And you know how when the wind hits the window, it, like, starts shaking and stuff? That's what happened. So I was like, why do we have, like, a strong wind like that going on? Because it wasn't that type of day, you know? And then um, the ground started shaking. And I was like, did somebody got their washing machine on? Like, because I've never felt this before. It was really strong, right? So it starts shaking, and then it stopped just for a minute. It stopped just for, not even a minute, but, you know, it stopped, like, for a second. And then that's when everything started shaking, like, it everything started shaking and stuff and I was like oh my god like what what's going on and all I could do is be still and look at the cabinet that's like in front of me right now I have a cabinet with everything in it and it was shaking and stuff and I was just holding on to the couch because I felt like I was about to like the building was about to collapse and I'm just like I don't want to die like this I felt like I was just going to go straight through the floor and then all I could think about at that time though was like the 911 tapes because I've listened to the 911 tapes and there was this one guy who was on the phone with the police when um all of a sudden he was just like oh god and when he said oh god the whole building collapsed you know and then that was it 
And that's and that's the only thing that kept re, re, really replaying in my mind was that, that tape of him saying that. And it was just like, I can't imagine how it felt, you know. And I'm not trying to compare this to that, but, you know, I can't imagine how I felt being in that building during, you know, 9-11 during that. That's just that's horrible. But I was... And I can't imagine, like, Japan, like, what they went through. Like, what we went through yesterday, it was nowhere near that stuff. But it was all that was on my mind, you know. I just knew I was falling through, like, that, that this was it. And then afterwards, after it stopped, it took me probably a good five minutes to move because I didn't... Like, I didn't know what to do. I was afraid to move because I thought if I moved, everything would just fall. You know, it's kind of like when a car is, like, hanging off the cliff and you're afraid to move because you just, like, Shh. that's how I felt. And um, I thought that's that's what was going to happen. And, um, yeah, it took me a good five minutes. But right after it happened, I posted on Facebook because I had the computer near me. <laughs> And I tried calling, like, my family and stuff, but the phones weren't working. And um, the phones weren't working and stuff. And so I went on Facebook, and I was like, the earth just moved. Like, my lights were blinking and stuff. Like, it just moved. Because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't the only one. Because either this apartment was falling apart, and I had to just roll out, like, immediately. Or I was really, really sick, like, sicker than I thought. But after I looked at all the posts and stuff, you know, it was it was an earthquake that was going on. Cause I didn't know first, I didn't know if it was a, if that bomb had went off that one of my friends were talking about, or if I was sick or the building was falling apart or what. I didn't know. I wasn't even thinking about an earthquake at first because we don't get them. We don't get them like that. So yeah, all I could do was sit on the couch and just look at this cabinet and hold on to the couch because I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And I'm looking at things and feeling things shake. And I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm about to fall through this freaking floor. And I'm already, you know, I already, this place is already like, like it's a nice place, but the floors and stuff, like, the building isn't, it doesn't feel like it's that, like, stable and stuff. So, I'm just like, if that earthquake was a little bit stronger, I know it would have took this place down. I know it. But um, somebody calling me on my phone. I got to get back to them. Um, yeah. And then, so, afterwards, I got in touch with my, my with my family. My little cousin called me. He was like, Tiffany. He's like, you coming over here? I said, Steven. You know, I started thinking at first, I didn't know whether I should go or stay here, you know, because I didn't know what's going to happen and then I was like okay well these things usually travel in twos you know there's the earthquake and then there's the aftershock and stuff so I was like let me get out of here so he called and he was like Tiffany you know are you he wanted to know if I was coming over and stuff and I was like Steven I'm, I'm like I'm on my way he was like good he said because I was wondering he was like is Tiffany going to come get us and stuff so I'm like yep I'm, I'm rolling out right now I threw my clothes on. I ain't worried about anything I just threw everything on and rolled out Went and got gas just in case 2012 was about to, you know, come down and stuff. <laughs> the 2012 was about to. I watched enough disaster movies to know how to, to do things now. But it's funny because everything I learned about earthquakes, how to, how to survive them, I forgot when everything happened. I'm like, am I supposed to get in the doorway? Am I supposed to get in the tub? Like, what am I supposed to do? And I couldn't move. <laughs> It was so funny. And to hear, like, my dad's story, like, he was in his room at the time. He's never been through this before either. He was in his room exercising at the time. And then um, he said everything started shaking. And then my mom was like, yeah. He, she said, your dad started doing the river dance. Because <laughs> when everything was shaking, he's in the middle of his phone, his floor. Like, he does, like, jumper, jack, jumper jacks and stuff like that. So he's, like, exercising. But when everything started shaking, he started just doing <laughs> Because he didn't know what to do. <laughs> he didn't know where to go or what. <laughs> it just was out of the blue, y'all. So it it to hear every what everyone was doing at the time is just hilarious. My older sister was at work. She rolled out when it happened. She left her keys, her pocketbooks, and started walking. I'm like, why in the she trying to walk home to get her kids that's all the way across town? I don't know what she was thinking. I'm like, what made you think you could walk through an earthquake? <laughs> if anything, I was going to grab my keys and just, you know, drive, try to drive through it. But I ain't going to try to walk through it. 
You know, because I've seen disaster movies where, you know, you need, like, you need your car to drive through it. And not, you know, you ain't going to walk through it. But anyway, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, you tell your story if you on the East Coast and you went through it and stuff. Y'all leave, like, please leave, like, a video response to it. Please just tell me what were you doing, like, when it, when it happened. Because it was just, like, now I can laugh about it. But I tell y'all, like. I believe in, um, you know, if y'all know me, every all my subscribers have different religions and beliefs, and it's it's absolutely fine. Um, but I believe in Jesus, and I'm just like I'll never deny I believe in Jesus, and I do believe that that earthquake was a wake up call. It was kind of like a fire drill in school, just to show you that he can take you out anytime. And when he chooses, you better be ready. And that's how I feel about it. And it really put my myself in perspective. <laughs> I need to kiss certain things about me together. <laughs> yes. But I was so glad that, like, you know, we survived it and everything. And I think that it shows you, too, that you have a purpose. You know, because it was that easy where even though it wasn't that bad, <clears throat> something could have happened where you got really hurt, where you could have been taken out. And if you, you know, if you weren't and stuff, then you do. I mean, I, as long as you're here, you have some kind of, you have a purpose, you know. But anyway, I won't go on and on about this because my last video didn't work out too well. So if you did go through it, leave your response on how you feel about everything. All right. Y'all have a great day and I hope y'all enjoyed this story and everything. Okay, love y'all. Bye.